um, welcome to yoga. So it may have been a while since you've uh, done any yoga. You may have been practicing at home or, or, um, or just missing it, but uh, this is a great opportunity for us to get back together and just get our bodies moving a little bit, remember to breathe, and, and just get ready for whatever the day presents us. So I've got, if you see, I've got a chair here, I've got my mat, I've got a blanket, I've got a strap, and I've got a block, but you may not need any of those. This practice is, can be done without any of these. But if you don't feel like coming to the floor today, we've got the chair. So if you wanna start sitting in the chair, just come to the chair, sit with your feet on the ground, and sit towards the front of the chair. Sit nice and tall, just let your hands rest in your lap. If you're gonna to come to the floor, Come maybe to a blanket or a beach towel and just sit in whatever position is comfortable for you. If you've got hip or knee issues, you can place a block underneath your leg just to make yourself feel a little bit more comfortable. But wherever you find yourself, sit nice and tall, relax the shoulders, and just start to close your eyes. Close your eyes, relax the jaw, and just settle into the Sounds are interfering if you're noticing it's the sounds around you, a dog barking or a car driving by. Just notice it as sound. There's no need to label it or engage with it. Just let the sounds come and go. Allow the jaw to relax. And then begin to flutter your eyes open and look at your hands and bring the thumbs and the ring fingers together. Just touch, touch the tips of the thumbs and the ring fingers. And bring your left hand right just underneath your belly and your right hand just above the belly. Let the fingertips touch. And as you inhale, feel the breath flow into the left nostril. And as you exhale, let the hand switch position. On the next inhale, feel the breath flow into the right nostril. And as you exhale, let the hand switch position again. And let's do this for a few more breaths, inhaling. Feel the breath move into the left nostril. Exhaling, hands reverse. Inhale, right nostril. Exhale. Inhale, left nostril. And exhale. And empty the right nostril. Four more breaths like that. And let the hands rest in your lap or on your thighs. With the eyes closed, just notice how you're feeling. And then inhale, shrug your shoulders up. And exhale, let them drop back to neutral. Now bring your hands to the outside of your thighs. If you're on the floor, bring your legs forward. If you're seated in the chair, just let your legs come forward and roll your legs from side to side. We're going to go today what is known as a joint breathing series or an energy breathing series. We're going to move through the entire body in a progressive
progression of practices, five, we're going to do each movement five times. Um, if you get comfortable with it, you can move it up to seven or eight, just whatever you're comfortable with. If anything causes discomfort, stop it or just do one or two. So follow your body's needs and we're just going to, we're going to move through this joint free series one practice at a time. So wherever you are, let your legs slide forward. I'm going to scoot back just a little bit. If you're seated in the chair, just rest your feet on your heels. Let the knees be soft. And we're going to sit nice and tall. And on the inhale, just point your feet. And then exhale, flex. It doesn't have to be a big movement. We're going to do it five times. Inhale, point. And exhale, flex. And just doing it multiple times lets the body start to relax. So just follow what your body needs. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Once more, inhale, point, and exhale, flex. Good job. Take your legs just a little bit further apart. Walk those legs out a little bit. Then bring your legs back again. And this time as you inhale, bring the toes together. And then exhale, take the toes apart. Inhale, bring the toes together. And exhale, apart. We do that three more times. Toes come together, then apart, toes together, apart, and then once more, toes together, and apart. And then bring your legs all the way together, and then on the inhale, bring the soles of your feet together, and then exhale, take the soles of the feet out. So inhale the soles together, and exhale the soles out. Three more times, together, and you exhale out, and it may feel awkward, so don't force anything. Just know that what we're starting to do is play with the energy in the ankles, just letting the ankles start to relax. Good job. Now, wherever you are, take your hands behind your knees and let's sit back a little bit. So just rock back on your tailbone. Lift your feet off the floor and five circles to the left. And then five circles to the right. And shake. Good job. Now place your feet on the floor. If you're sitting on the floor, your knees will be bent. If you're in the chair, you might want to grab a strap. So I'm going to demonstrate this um, but from both positions. So on the floor, you're close enough to grab your ankle or your shin. And on the inhale, just reach that left leg forward and then exhale lower. Now if you're in the chair, you're going to grab your strap, and this can be a, a, a belt, or it can be, you know, a, a robe strap, or you may have a yoga strap. And so if you're in the chair, you're just going to inhale, reach to the heel, and then exhale, bend the knee. So whichever one works for you, inhale and exhale, and we're going to do three more. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. And once more, inhale and exhale. Good job. And then just let your feet rest on the ground. Maybe if you're on the floor, it feels good to let the legs be long. Notice, notice what you feel. Then walk your feet back again, and we're going to move to the second side. Inhale, extend, and then exhale lower. And do it four more times. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and once more, inhale, and exhale. Good job. Let your legs rock a little side to side, maybe extend the legs. And then let's move into the hips a little bit more, so we're moving up the legs. Take the legs nice and wide, lean softly back, but lift your chest so that your trunk is supporting its own way. The elbows are soft. And on the inhale, roll that right leg in and slide it towards the left. Don't push it. Just let it slide. And then exhale, roll it out and bring it back. So do that four more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And what you may notice is as you do this, because it's progressive, the hip starts to open up and that leg moves a little bit easier across the body. And then come back up to seated. Just notice maybe that right side of the body just feels a little more relaxed, a little softer. 
So come back to your second side, and if you're in the chair, same thing, legs wide. Inhale, roll the left leg in, slide it across, exhale out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and once more, inhale, and exhale. And then just come back to seated, and just notice how the body feels. That little movement is one that's just perfect for you. Just do it on the side of your bed, first thing in the morning when you wake up. Get your hips warmed up and loose, you know, so that, so that your back feels better, everything just feels better. So now we're gonna come to tabletop. Place your hands on the floor, shoulders width apart, slightly forward of your shoulders, and just start to move through some cat-cows. Now, if you're not coming to the floor, if you're using the chair, you can do tabletop using the seat of your chair. So just let your hands rest on the seat of the chair. Exhale, rounding up through cat. And inhaling, floating through cow. And we're doing these five times, so I hope you've been counting. And I've been talking, so I'm going to just do it once more because I bet that's five times for everyone. Now, tabletop tends to get into people's wrists and hands. So if you're using the chair, go ahead and walk towards your chair. If you're, see, if you're on the floor, just sink back into child's pose and circle your wrists. Let your wrists relax. And then when you're ready, we're going to make our way back to tabletop on the floor or using the chair. And this time we're going to challenge the balance. We're going to challenge our core strength a little bit. So on the inhale, reach your left leg behind you and your right arm forward. And then exhale, bend them both and bring the elbow and the knee together. So inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow, knee. Let's do three more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then replace the hand in the foot and then come back to your resting posture, standing up if you're using the chair or child's pose if you're on the floor. Relax those wrists, right? Just let your hands and wrists relax. Now we're going to do the second side. And this is a good job, so thanks for staying with it. I know this is difficult. So inhale, reach the right leg behind, left arm forward. Exhale, elbow, knee. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, let's do two more, inhale, exhale, and last one, inhale, exhale, and then come back to your recovery pose, either standing, make sure you're releasing those wrists, or child's pose, just letting the wrists be nice and relaxed. Now we're gonna do one more posture that uses tabletop. So this time, as you come to this posture, if you're using the chair, definitely let your hands rest to the outside of the chair. We wanna minimize any compression in the wrist. If you're using the mat, let your hands straddle the edges of the mat, the fingers turned out at about a 45 degree angle. The legs are gonna to come together. And the way we're gonna do this is as we exhale, let your right elbow bend and let your hips drop to the right as you look over to the left. And then squeeze your legs together. Come back to center and this time as you exhale, let your hips drop to the left, your left elbow bend, and look over your right elbow. Let's do that a few more times. So exhale, feel the right side of your body start to lengthen. And release, inhale back through center, exhale to the left, inhale back to center. Let's do two more of those. Since there is a lot going on here, we won't do quite as many. Let's do one more set. Good job. And then come back to neutral. Let's walk forward if you're using the chair or sink back into child's pose. Again, let those wrists relax. Let your shoulders relax. 
All right, so we're gonna start to move further up the body. So I'm gonna ask everybody to come to stand. So just let's come to stand for a moment. It may feel like walking it out a little bit, just exploring how the bottom half of your body feels. And just go ahead and start to roll your shoulders. Let the shoulders start to warm up. And then go, then when you're ready, bring your bring your upper arms into the sides of your rib cage, your elbows resting against the ribs, the chest lifted, let the shoulders relax. And just with the arms bent, let the hands be nice and soft. And on an inhale, flex the ribs, bring the palms forward. And on the exhale, take the palms back. We're gonna do it four more times. Inhale and exhale. Soft fingers, inhale and exhale, not pushing through the wrist, just letting the practice do its work, right? The more we move gently like this, the more the body relaxes and trusts what we're doing. And then just let your arms relax and shake your hands out. Begin to, begin to feel the arms growing heavy. We wanna think about the joints freeing, right? The wrists releasing, the elbows and the shoulders, all getting a little looser, a little more comfortable. Now bring your arms forward and keep some space between your hands because we're gonna inhale and just let the wrists turn inward, the fingers towards each other. And then exhale, let the wrists turn outward. We're gonna do that four more times. Inhale and exhale. And this can be awkward. We don't do this a lot. It can feel a little bit uncomfortable. So maybe your fingers don't touch, that's okay. Maybe they don't go very far, but they're going somewhere. And then just come back to neutral. And let the hands relax again. Now bring your hands forward, curl your thumbs softly under, lean your softly under. We're gonna make three circles to the wall. Inhale and exhale. And just notice, you know, are they exactly alike? Do the pads of the hands travel just the same way or is there a little difference? Probably a little difference. And then let's change. One, two, three. Good job. Shake it out. Now as you shake it out, maybe you want to walk a little bit. You've been standing still a little bit. Let the wrists start to decompress some more. Just feel your arms getting longer, almost like rubber bands, right, that are just getting longer and longer. Feel your elbows start to relax. The lower arms are starting to, to, to hang a little lower. And then let your upper arms join the party. Just feel your shoulders decompressing. And then when you're ready, inhale and float your arms forward. And on the exhale, let your fingertips come to rest on the shoulders. And then inhale. And exhale, really soft movement. Inhale, almost floating. And then exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. Let the arms relax. And go ahead and inhale and shrug your shoulders up. And exhale, let your shoulders relax. Yeah, and you maybe felt a big release just then. Now we're going to take it out to the side. We're going to inhale the arms out shoulder level. Woo! Which way am I going? And then exhale, just the fingertips to the shoulders. Inhale, the arms float wide. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And once more, inhale. And exhale. And then lower the arms. Those shoulders relax. Maybe a shrug, a release, maybe rolling the shoulders. Walk it out just a little bit. Now we're going to bring the arms to cactus arms and start to feel your shoulder blades on the back of your on the back of your back, right there at the top of the back. And as you lift, lift that left shoulder blade, or and then exhale lower, and then lift the right shoulder blade. And exhale lower. And so we're going to play with this a little bit. We're going to inhale and lift the shoulder blades and let them round forward. And as we exhale, let the arms come together. And then inhale, take the shoulder blades down the back and feel the shoulders 
come together. So exhale, the shoulder blades lift, bring the arm forward, and then inhale, the shoulder blades start to draw back and down. So inhale, the shoulder blades roll up and forward, and the arms are just along for the ride. Nothing much is happening with the arms. They're just riding the wave of the shoulder blades. Last exhale, and then come back to neutral and lower the arms, release those shoulder blades. Now we're gonna take it a little bit further. We're gonna bring the arms up to cactus arms again. And this time as we inhale, lift the chest, feel the shoulder blades draw down the back. And this time as we exhale, lift the shoulder blades and let the arms round forward. So inhale, the arms roll back that cactus arm position, and then exhale, the shoulder blades lift and round forward, and the arms follow. Now, I've done this several times today, so I've got a lot of mobility that I right now that I didn't have when I first woke up. So who knows, you might be, you know, in this position, things might just not be woken up quite yet. So just let your shoulder blades, your shoulders, Warm up. Let's do that once more. Don't push or force. Just let your body respond to the movement. And then when you finish, let your arms rest by the side of your body. As you inhale, feel the breath move into your chest. And as you exhale, you may actually feel a release moving down through the neck, down through the upper back just a little bit more ease, a little bit more comfortable. Now we're gonna inhale and float the arms up above. And as we exhale, let the palms turn out and down and sweep the arms behind. Inhale, the arms come up again. Maybe the palms touch, maybe they don't. And we exhale and sweep the arms behind. Maybe the palms touch, they don't have to. Inhale, feel the sides of the body nice and long. And then exhale, feel the top of the chest open. Let's do two more. Inhale and exhale. And once more, inhale and exhale. Let the arms relax. Close your eyes for a moment, take a breath. If you need to sigh the breath out, sigh the breath out. You're moving energy in the body. You're unlocking obstacles in the body. So if you feel a big sigh or the release of breath bubble up, let it go, let it go. Now we're going to make our way to seated. So you're welcome to sit in your chair again or if you're comfortable coming to the floor, go ahead and come to the floor. I'm going to come to the floor. That's where I'm happiest right now. And um, if you're happy sitting cross-legged, you can sit cross-legged. If you like to sit uh, on your shins, you can sit on your shins. We're just going to continue a little bit of this lateral movement. So whenever you're ready, let your left arm walk out to the side. And as you exhale, just allow the right arm to hang heavy by the side, the left ear to shoulder. If you're seated in the chair, the arm will just slide down to the left of the chair. And then inhale, gently draw yourself back to center. Exhale, let your right arm slide down the chair, out to the side. Left arm draw heavy by your side. The right ear drop. Let's go ahead with one more breath. And then inhale back to center. Let's do that two more times. So exhale, and inhale gently, but lift some integrity, come back, and then exhale, and then inhale back, and once more, down we go, and inhale back, and then once more, just feeling that lovely release down the top of the body. 
get it in here. Go ahead, if you sitting cross-legged, bring your legs forward, release your hips, you can bring a chair, roll your hips from side to side, and then come back to your seated posture. Now, if you're on the chair, go ahead and let your feet be, um, your legs and feet be parallel, firmly planted on the floor. Let your right hand rest on your right leg, and let your left arm come to rest just to slightly to the side and behind you, or right here to the back of the chair. Inhale nice and tall, and on the exhale, just let your, let your body just flow into a little twist to the left. And then inhale back, shoulders nice and relaxed. The left hand rests on the left leg, the right hand moves either to the side of the chair, slightly behind, inhale, tall spine, and then exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back to center, let's do that two more times. Twice more. Both sides, we exhale and twist. We inhale, come back to center. We exhale and gently twist to the right, never pushing or forcing, just, just allowing the body to open up in the way that it feels right. You're doing a good job. We're almost done. And then come back to neutral. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Now, if you need to wiggle your legs, if you need to change your legs, seated position, go ahead and do that. And now we're just going to move into the last part. I promise to the crown of the head. So, with the shoulders relaxed, on the exhale, just let your chin lower towards your chest. And as you inhale, draw the chin back over the shoulders and feel the front of your neck. Continue to lengthen the front of the neck, even from the base of the skull. Just feel if you can lengthen the back of your neck just a little longer. We're not compressing the back of the neck at all. We're just allowing the neck to lengthen. Exhale, let the chin lower towards the chest. Feel how nice and spacious the back of the spine feels. And then inhale, slide the ears over the shoulders, lengthening the front of the neck while we lengthen the back. Do that once more. Exhale, chin to chest. And then inhale. Really maximizing the spaces between the vertebrae. Taking care not to compress anything in the cervical spine. Now relax the shoulders. Let your neck and throat relax. But notice how much taller you feel there. And on the exhale, let your head just turn to the left. Don't press, don't push. You'll find a natural stopping point. And then inhale, bring the head back to center. And then exhale to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to center. Let's do that once more. To the left. And exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale back. Now let your shoulders relax. Now picture the tip of your nose as a pencil pen and picture a piece of paper, maybe five by seven in front of your face. And we're going to draw a tiny little circle on that piece of paper using the pencil point. So we're going to exhale and just let the pencil point be down and then to the left and then inhale to the right. That's one rotation. So do two more. Just like that. Take it nice and slow. Notice where the movement feels smooth. Notice if there are little places where it feels a little tight. Keep crunching. You can slow it down. Just let the body catch up to, to your desire. Okay. When you finish, come back to neutral with the shoulders relaxed. Notice how the two sides of the neck feel. Just three movements and you may actually be feeling a big difference. So let's go in the opposite direction. Still those teeny little circles. Exhale down to the right. Inhale up to the left. Down and through two more. Nice.
there's many curly eyes. They almost ready to show their sorrow. It's not on the show, but it's a good thing to see. Notice your breath. Notice your hands, your feet. Notice what you don't notice. Maybe you came to the class with a little bit of an ache or pain somewhere. Maybe it feels a little more refreshed, a little easier. And when you're ready, if you'd like to, you can lie down, find a place to come into Shavasana, and just let yourself rest for five or ten minutes. Maybe set your timer on your watch and just let the practice assimilate. Let your body assimilate the movements that you've done. Let your body let go of what you no longer need. And when you've finished, um, come back to your day, hopefully feeling refreshed and ready to go. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I hope you have a great day. Namaste. No, you did great. Um, that was 31 minutes. Okay. Ooh. I normally teach that class at 9 o'clock. Mm-hmm. No, you're fantastic. I just got to, there we go. Stop.